going on, guys? Welcome to the technically preview of the 10th inning. Me and my good friend Cushman Baseball Chat are doing this series. This isn't technically episode one. Episode one will be the opening day recap, but I just thought we'd give a little preview for opening day because it's, uh, like, how many days is it, Ethan? So it's it's on Thursday. Yeah, so that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Four days. Four days to opening day. So I feel like you guys deserve some baseball content instead of just me flooding you with unnecessary March Madness stuff. But what we're going to do is going to essentially go through each opening day game, see, see what could be coming in said game. But Ethan, let me ask you one thing. What do you think it is that makes opening day so special? Well, when I... Obviously, uh, you know, baseball is my favorite sport. And w- when opening day starts, it's a sign of, like, a new thing. Summer, it's like, in our cases, we're obviously in school. Summer break's coming, and we just get baseball, and we get it for a long time. And it's just amazing to watch. I, get, I don't really know how to describe it. I mean, I remember one day my friend wanted to watch opening day or something, and they said he couldn't watch. He's like, it's just like any other game. No, opening day is not just like any other game. There's just something special about it. So, yeah, the game, li- the games lined up are Mets, Nationals, Orioles, Yankees, Cardinals, Brewers, Braves, Phillies, Tigers, Jays, Astros, Rays, my Cubs playing the Texas Rangers, Angels and Athletics, Pirates, Reds, Rockies, Marlins, Indians, Twins, Giants, Padres, Diamondbacks, Dodgers, White Sox, Royals, and Red Sox. Mariners. So, also another thing, just to add to the opening day point, also getting to see both teams' aces just duke it out. That's nothing true. Better than that, that is true. Because pretty much teams are going to put their aces on the mound. So, I think without further ado, let's get into this. So the first, the first two games of the day are the Mets and the Nationals, and obviously your Yankees playing the Baltimore Orioles. What are you looking for in those games? So obviously, uh, I I shouldn't say the better game because baseball is a decently random sport. So the Orioles Yankees could be a good game, but the more intriguing matchup obviously is the Mets Nationals. Two obviously NL East teams, two teams that are trying to win the division in the NL East. Uh, the two of the best pitchers in the entire MLB are maybe you could make you could probably say make an argument that those are the two best. So that that should be a really interesting matchup. Uh, I'll go with the uh, I'll go with the na- the Nationals in that one, and then the Yankees uh, Orioles matchup. I mean, if you want to call me biased, you can. But I mean, the Yankees are the favorites. It's possible for the Orioles to win, but it's hard to say that the Yankees aren't the favorites. That is true. I'm really excited to see Scherzer versus Degrom opening yeah. day. That's that's going to be a sight to see. I mean. E- People that say baseball needs more scoring, if you can't respect those two guys going on the mound, you're not a real baseball fan. A game, I guess, I wouldn't really enjoy because I'm a Cubs fan, but Cardinals-Brewers, two teams I'm kind of scared of in the Central. Yeah. Uh, Obviously, they're two great teams. Uh, It's going to be those, as I mentioned before, with the Nationals-Mets. And by the way, I should just also add... Uh, the Yankees are starting Masahiro Tanaka due to the mostly the fact that Luis Severino is out to start the season. And the Orioles, I believe it was Alex Cobb initially. I don't know what happened. They have Andrew Kashner listed as a starter, uh, whatever, really. But in the, but in the Cardinals Brewers, it's Miles Michaelis versus Julie Chassin. Two pretty good pitchers, two kind of comeback stories last year, even. So that should be a good game as well. Uh, that's true. A guy I really want to see make his debut, two guys actually, Andrew Miller and Paul Goldschmidt. How will they fare on the Cardinals? I mean, obviously we don't know if Andrew Miller will make it on opening day. He's a relief pitcher. Yeah, uh, obviously. Obviously Paul Goldschmidt's an absolute beast. Uh, best first baseman in, in all of baseball. Uh, he's an absolute beast. Uh, it's shocking that he hasn't won an MVP yet. He just consistently comes like second, third. Fourth, second. Well, there's so much other great talent in the National League, but I mean, yeah, he's, but I'm just he's saying obviously that up he there. just always just comes second and stuff. And he, he's a tremendous player. As a Cubs fan, I'm not really excited to have it to have to play him often. Also, here's one: Braves Phillies. That's gonna be a good game. We get to see. This, 
Harper's debut with the Phillies against a very good young Braves team that I'm really excited to see going forward. I love the Braves and what they have going. This is similar, as I mentioned before, to the Mets National Series in the sense of it's two competitive NL East teams going at it, trying to win the division later on in the year, of course. I mean, Uh, every single team... In the NL at least has a chance, besides the Marlins, of course. Yeah, obviously besides the Marlins, because the Marlins are trash. But all four other teams, their fans are, the their fans biasly probably a little bit, think they're going to win. And for good reason, they all have a lot of talent on them. All right, if you had to make a bet right now on who's going to win the NL East, who are you putting your money on? Maybe a slightly unpopular opinion. I'm going to go with the Nationals. And really? I just think... Yeah, I, I just think, uh, obviously, Harper is a big loss. However, they have Victor Robles coming up, and their pitching is superb. The, their pitching rotation is, in my eyes, the best in baseball. And their bullpen's solid, too, with uh, Sean Doolittle. They picked up Tony Sipp. Uh, I, I, I like the Nationals. Um. All right, I guess I'll answer that question too. I like the Braves solely. I like because... the Braves coming in second. I like the. I have the Braves coming in second. Okay, so where does that put the the Phillies? Phillies in fourth. Fourth. Okay. And the Mets in third. Yeah. So you have it, Braves, not Braves. Uh, Nationals, Nationals, Braves. I have the Braves. I think I haven't done them yet. I'll probably have the Braves getting in a wild card though. All right, I. They're looking like a very good team, but let's move on. Um, Tigers, Blue Jays, I mean, that's... Uh, this is what we call, in baseball, the Tank Bowl. You're an dating tree reference, I see. But... <laughs> I was just, I was just, uh, I mean, the, neither of these teams are good. Let's and plus, just we're not it. even going to see Vlad, uh, Vlad, because he has to do uh, the service time, and plus he's got that injury... So, yeah. we're not even going to get to... That's not even a positive in that matchup. I guess I'll just go with the Blue Jays since they're at home. Astros Rays. Now, I... This is a really good game. Snell, Verlander, that pitching matchup is... That pitching matchup's like oh, DeGrom, yeah. oh, Scherzer, yeah. but just the I, okay. AL version. Okay. Don't get me wrong. This might be better than DeGrom, Scherzer. It could very well be. Cause I love Blake Snell. I did see. In fact, I just I just thought of this. Snell won the AL Cy Young. Verlander came second in the NL. Degrom won that's NL Cy Young. That's a great point. Scherzer came that's second. That's a great. That's a great point you bring up. And it's. I did see. I'll let you get your thoughts on this as a Yankees fan. I did see. Um, some ESPN baseball expert, which ESPN doesn't know much about baseball, so take this with a grain of salt. They did have the Astros as number one in the power rankings. Hey, uh, you, so. I, I, I'm a Yankees fan, so I'd argue that the Yankees are first, but you can't go wrong with the Astros. When you look at them, they're so complete. They're like, they, out of any team in the league, I think they probably have the least amount of holes. I can agree with that, definitely. But that's going to be a great game in Tampa Bay, maybe giving an edge to the Rays. But I'd still probably, I'd take the Astros in that game. I think baseball's hard to predict again, as I mentioned before. This is just random kind of things we're doing. All right. Next is my Cubs going down to Arlington to play the Rangers. I, there is a developing story that Ian Happ is actually going to start in triple A. Yeah, I saw he's going to start in triple A Iowa, which I'm not upset about. Ian Happ, if you guys haven't watched many Cubs games, if he faces a lefty, don't even send him up to bat. It, it, bring in a pinch hitter or somebody. He can't do anything against lefties. I don't. I don't have a. He's. Le- I think most of that. He has like the biggest. In fact, you mentioned that. I believe Mike Miner's a lefty, and I checked. He is. I believe. I, I was pretty sure he was a lefty, and I just checked. He is. Yeah, so there would be no reason to put him in anyway. And I mean. It, the same can be said about Schwarber, but the thing about Schwarber is he rakes against righties. Ian Happ doesn't do anything against either. But I'm really excited to see this team play. We were riddled with injuries last year. Brian hurt for a more uh, for a pretty large portion, and a lot of a lot of a lot of our important guys ended up having down years. So 
Another thing I really want to see is, does David Bodie make the opening day roster? If he doesn't, I'm going to be pretty upset. David Bodie's a fan favorite. All the Cubs fans want to see him play. But I think when it's all said and done, I think the Cubs do end up getting the win in this one. Yeah, obviously it's hard. The baseballs, as I've mentioned before on this, baseball is the hardest uh, uh, sport to predict. But yeah. All right, moving on. The this eight- should be another good game. Here are also two teams that I'm interested in watching: the Angel, two. the Angels, and the A's. How does this stack up? Well, I think in this, this you have two AL West teams. Most likely not competing for the division. I think most people would say the Astros are a clear favorite. But two teams that are probably competing for the second wild card. And I think you'd agree with that. I I do. I do. What do you At think? Mo- now, what do you think? I'll, I'll let you answer this. Obviously, either the Yankees or Red Sox are going to get a wild card. Because one of those are going to win. One of them will win the division. One of them one will of them win the won. division. One's going to get the wild card. Who do you think is the clear-cut favorite? To get the next, the second wild card. Last year was the A's. Who do yeah. you see as that team this year? Well, I think uh, over the past two years, it's kind of been the case where the Yankees have obviously gotten the wild card, but it's been a division race. In the last two years, it's obviously been the, been the Twins, and the last year, the A's. In my eyes, I wouldn't say they're the clear cut favorites, but I've got to go with the Rays. The Rays. Ooh, that's an interesting yeah. one. I think that the four favorites, obviously, are the A's, are, are in no particular order, are the A's, Angels, Twins, and the Rays. All right, I can definitely agree with that. I'm going to go with the A's again. I really like the A's. Now, this, yeah, I know that. This will probably be an unpopular opinion, but the A- I'm not saying they will. It's definitely a long shot. There's a chance... There's a chance they win the division. I don't think it happens. I'm just saying I wouldn't be sur- I wouldn't be totally surprised if they did. Yeah, as I mentioned before, baseball is hard to predict, but I think I think you'd agree that the Astros are the favorites. They are definitely the favorites, and my favorites to come out of the AL. But they're your favorites to come out of the AL. They, they are my uh, they favorites. Could, to defi- come out of definitely the AL. could. I think. I think that the Red Sox, Yankees, and Astros all have to be the favorites, but you could definitely make a strong case for the Astros. All right, moving on, two more NL Central teams, the Pirates and Reds. I saw one, some guy on YouTube after my Reds uh, season preview, he's like, stop getting mad at the Reds. They're going to win the division, and you know it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the Reds, obviously, they, they made some good moves, but... Uh, it's going to be them or the Pirates in the bottom. And in this matchup, I actually like the Pirates. Jamison Tyon is a great pitcher. I actually like the Pirates coming in fourth in the division. Uh, you see, I, I actually, disagree. I, I'm going to disagree with you there. I think the Reds are a much more complete team than the Pirates. Complete or, or better? I'm, cu- I'm curious. I can go, you could probably go with either. I like the Reds as a right. lot better team than the Pirates. Moving on, we have Rockies Marlins. That's going to be a slaughter and a half. I mean, I mean, obviously, baseball is hard to predict. Again, I've said that a million times, but uh, the Rockies are clearly better. Rockies are a playoff contender. Marlins are like the worst team of all time. Um, Indians Twins. Now, this is interesting because the Indians definitely got worse over the off season, and I think you could say that the Twins got a lot got better. better. I still think the Indians will win the division. Yeah, I think so too. In fact, I think that though, I even though the team talent wise got worse, I think they'll. I actually think they'll win more than ninety games, which was their win total last year. All right, but there is the conversation I, of if if the Twins were to win the division, the Indians would most likely get the next wild card, and we'd have a. And obviously, all the teams you mentioned, the, let me remember them, the A's, 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 Rays, Angels. A's, Rays, Angels, and who, I, we can't remember the And then we said the Twins, we said the Twins. The Twins would be the other one. Yeah. So possibly, if the Twins were to snag that division, it would be bad for all those other teams if the Yankees were to. Yeah, because it it would add a stronger competitor to the wild card. Yeah. Um, moving on, we have Giants Padres. We will get to see Manny Machado's debut. How do you, what do you think of the Padres going forward? Because I mean, I'm, I actually, uh, I'm not I the actually, biggest fan. All right, sorry. No, 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 you couldn't. You. I, 
I so uh, I think the Padres at the moment uh, I have them I have them actually coming fourth in the division. Uh, no, I no wait no I, I, I could scratch that. I'll, I'll think about that for a second. I don't know what I was saying. Uh, I, I I don't I, obviously I think most people can agree they they won't be too competitive this year. However, if you give him a few years, put this way, people were saying people were pushing Manny to sign with the White Sox. Meanwhile, the Padres have a better farm system, are more attractive to free agents, and like I think the Padres I'm, could I'm, have I'm something. I'm curious going. why you're saying San Diego's better than Chicago. What what do you got against uh What do you got against Chicago? I don't know. I just uh. I, all right, I, I, I'm sorry. Let, let's move on. No, I'm, anyway, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm messing with you. I'm messing with I, you. I, all I was saying was San Diego. In, in, in San, Di, San Diego, they got the weather. They're, it's it's beautiful if you've seen San Diego. Yeah, all right. I'm, I'm just messing with you. But uh, that, that's not part of the argument. Uh, in this matchup, even though maybe the Padres, uh, both these teams aren't going to be very good this year. I hate to break it. I'll take the Giants just because they have Bumgarner pitching. All right. Next is Diamondbacks Dodgers, and I'm curious how the Dodgers are going to rebound after losing back to back World Series. Do you think their kind of morale is hurt at all? Well, I don't really know about that because I think that the past two years they've went through the NL because they. But then they've gone up like in the World Series against just purely better teams. I think the Astros were better, and I think the Do- and I think the Red Sox were better. Uh, but in this game, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll I'll take the Dodgers. I guess I'll t- okay. I'll take him. No, isn't Kershaw isn't starting? Is he? I no because he's yeah, injured. That's what I thought. That's why I thought. So Hinge and Ryu he starting. Start. I'll, I'll 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 take the Dodgers. So is he starting against? Uh, all right. Next, we have a nothing matchup between the White Sox and Royals. I think I'll take. I might actually, even though the White Sox people would probably say are slightly better, I'll take the Royals because they're at home. Plus, I like I like Carlos Rondon. I think he, if he gets some, if he gets his control together, he could be very good. But Brad, I, I also like Brad Keller. All right, and the last is the defending World Series champs, the Red Sox. Versus the Mariners at Safeco. I love Safeco Field. I, I haven't been there. It just looks cool. And I really want to go. Also, I hear they have really good garlic fries. So who do you oh, have? I didn't hear that. Yeah, I heard. I I heard like ah. Uh, I have some. I have like one or two family members out in Seattle. They're like, oh my god, if you go to Safeco Field, you have to get the garlic fries. So, but uh, who do you have in this? I I think it's got to be the Red Sox. But. Yeah, I get the Mariners are coming off some momentum. They won the two games in the Japan series. However, uh, those are pretty much home Reds. games. Those are pretty much home games for. Uh, well, Seattle. not even ju- not even just that. It's just that they they just won two games. Like woohoo! Yeah. Uh, the Red Sox got Chris Sale starting. He's a beast, obviously. So wait, so uh, wait. What that means is that Seattle is actually first in the MLB right now. Yeah, they're first in the MLB, and the A's are last. So you have so technically, we can run the narrative of the defending World Series champions playing the best team in the MLB right now. I, I get, I guess, if you want to put it that way. All right. So, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Um, this was just kind of a preview of all the games. This is a pretty long video. It's at eighteen minutes right now. Hopefully, you guys stuck to the end. But this is just a preview of what's to come with the 10th inning. Um, we will be uploading... Ethan, what do we decide? It was every Saturday? Uh, Saturday night, but it, uh, we'll, we'll see exactly. And it'll be more highly professional than this. We're, we just have to work out some quirks. Uh, this was just kind of something that we wanted to get up here. Yeah, because I, I really kind of wanted to upload some baseball content since I've just kind of... I don't think I've uploaded anything besides March Madness since March started. So I kind of wanted to do something new, and that's what this was. So, guys, make sure you subscribe to Ethan. I, f- I totally forgot to mention that Ethan has a channel. I apologize yeah. for that. I'm, um, almost at two, I'm almost at uh, 200 joiners. They actually don't want you to say uh, subscribers, I guess you could say. They don't want you to say that anymore. Ethan, Ethan, subscribers. They don't want you to say, you know what I'm trying to say. YouTube doesn't want you to say that. Wait, all right, whatever. We'll, we'll talk this later. Okay. Uh, I'm almost at 200 uh, followers, I guess. 
Okay, so his link will be in the description. Great baseball content. I would really recommend checking him out. We might be doing some behind-the-scenes stuff on his channel, so if you want to see some stuff about that, link is in the description. But thank you guys for watching this kind of little, I guess, open talk video. Um, I do thank you guys for watching. Ethan, any last words? Uh, MLB The Show releases tonight. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got to go to Best Buy tomorrow. All right, we'll see you guys.